Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to learn about the concept of class and object. So in this class and object, first we need to learn about what is object oriented programming. And in this object oriented programming, we have different concepts uh, like inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation. So here you can see that object-oriented programming is a methodology or paradigm to design a program using classes and objects. So, so first we need to learn about what is class and what is object. So a class is basically defined as a template or blueprint that describes the behavior and that object of its type support. So in Java particular, how you can define a class or how you can design a particular class and now with the help of that class how you can create an object of that class okay so here you can see what objects is so objects have basically states and they have some behaviors for example you can see a dog has basically a state and in a state you can see we have color name breed as well as the behavior like wagging barking eating so we can also say that an object is an instance of a class also okay so how you can uh, you can create class in java okay let's see so you can use any editor okay you can also use one of the basic editors we have notepad okay now you can see here first we define the class a and inside this class A, we have that it, white name. No need to worry about these uh, different different terms. We will discuss these terms in detail. We have different keywords here. So you have the public, private, and protected access specifiers in Java. Now we have also the static keyword here. And with the help of the static keyword, you can see you can do so many things like you can also declare a static variable you can also declare a static method and you can also declare a static class also okay here you can see that it's the void means here we have a main method okay and the return type of this is void and now you can see here we have an argument as string of array and inside this, suppose we want to print a particular method here. So here you can write system dot out dot print ln. And inside this, we will write hello abes engineering. Now you can see here that we have a class A and inside this class, we have created the main method and we have print just a simple message. Okay. Now I'll save this. You can save this program in any directory. Like in read, right? We have file name as A Java and Okay, so now how we can run this program? Okay, so inside just open the command prompt, change the directory to D drive, compile this. Now you can see that program is successfully compiled. Now you can run this as Java class name. So you can see here that we have a string method that is hello ABS engineering college. Now we can do the same thing with the help of class and object. Now how you can do this? Now I'm going to create a class and we can create the object of that class and with the help of that object we can call the method of that particular class. Let's see how we can do this. Now I'm going to create 
one more class. So for this time, I have mentioned this as class C. Now inside this, we will create a method public void display. And inside this, now I'm going to print the same message. Yes. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to save this particular class again in the D drive. And this time we'll save it as B dot Java. Now I'm going to compile this code Java C B dot Java. Now you can see that this particular code is compiled successfully. Now I'm going to run, but now you can see that this program cannot be executed. You can see that this program cannot be executed. Why this cannot be executed? Because this particular class doesn't have the main method. Now you can see this particular class doesn't have the main method. So how you can use this class now the concept of object oriented programming. Now you can see with the help of object, we can access this method that is display. So now we are going to create the object of this class B. So let's see. Now just open the D drive and just open the program. I can see here we have the class A and inside this we have a message here printed as ABS Engineering College. Now I'm going to delete this. Now I'm going to create the object of class B. Now for this we have to write first the name of the class and then the name of the object. Okay. Now you can see here, we can create the object of the class B and I'm going to call this obj dot. Now with the help of this dot operator, we can access the method of the class A. So we have this particular class B and inside this, we have a method display. So how you can access, you can first create the object of this class B and the definition of object oriented is basically that you can create the object of a particular class or object is basically an instance of a class. Okay. So now I'm going to create the instance named as OBJ. So OBJ and now I'm going to call the method display. So OBJ dot display. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to compile this code again. Java C. Now you can see the code is compiled and now this time we have a message ABS Engineering College. Okay, but how we can implement this time? So this time we have created the object of this class B and with the help of this particular object, we are going to call the method display. And inside this, we have a method that is display that will print the string that is ABS Engineering College. Okay. So this is the way by which you can create the objects and classes in Java. Okay. This is a very simple example. Now we can also do some basics of a class and object means this is a way by which we can create the object. But suppose if I want to create one more method, suppose this time I have created a method name as sum and inside this we have two variables. Okay. 
these two arguments uh, of type integer that is x and y these two particular variables as an argument we will receive in the method okay named as sum and now i will declare one more variable z and we will do a basic operation of addition and now i'm going to print the result system or out of print again. and inside this we will print the result as sum is you have to concatenate and now you can here concatenate with the method that is you can here see that sum is plus z okay now this time i'm going to create an object and now we are going to access this method as sum. Okay. Now you can see. Now first, suppose we initialize two variables. Suppose we have integer a equals 12 and b equals to 13. And we have already created the object of class b. Now this time I'm going to call the method sum and I'll pass A and B inside this method. Now I'm going to compile this. So first I'm going to compile and now I'm going to execute this. So now you can see this time we have two different different uh, methods calling. That means first we'll print the string ABS engineering college. And the second one is printing the result that is sum of two numbers. So now you can see that particular object oriented programming or with the help of object oriented programming, we have the way by which we can do different tasks using methods. Means we have a class and we have a method. And if we require that particular method, what we can do, we can create the object of that class and with the help of that class, we can access the methods of that class. Okay. So you can see this is a basic concept of object oriented programming. Okay. So this is the way by which you can create the objects and classes. So we have basically uh, created two here. We can summarize the whole process. So First, we can create the class and with the help of class, we can print the message. Now, in the next example, we have seen that we have created the particular class without main method and with the help of object oriented programming concept, we can create the object of that particular class and we can call the method. Okay. So now this is all about the class and object. In the next video, we will cover more examples on classes and object. And we will create a predefined classes. We have also predefined classes that is available in different packages. We will explore the concepts of packages. We will explore the concept of method. And we have predefined methods also available in the classes. And now we will also create or you can also create a user defined package. So in the next video, we can see how we can create our own classes and we can also add in the package or how we can create or how we can access the packages available in Java. Okay. Thank you.